So here we are with the Leica Mojo Mini. What we have here in the box, we have the Leica Geospectral Receiver. Like a screen. We have a suction mount for the screen, a cigarette lighter power cable for the screen, we have an SD card, and we have a power cable for our geospective receiver. Also included in the box. We have sticky pads if you wish to stick the receiver onto the roof of a tractor. We have a safety manual. We have a user manual on the CD and we have a quick start date. So that all comes in the box. Now, to get up and running, the geospectral receiver comes with two magnets uh, so it can be placed directly on the roof. You basically connect the power cable up. On the end of the power cable you have a feed out that will work a spray rate controller, uh, sorry, sorry, spray section controller if you so wish. You also have two wires here which will give you a true ground speed for fertilizer sowers, things like that. And really what you are really interested in is a red and black wire to actually connect this up at plus 12 volts and earth to actually power the receiver. So that's your receiver, your display, basically you put your SD card into your display, you turn it on at the side here and you place it on your suction mount and then place your suction mount to the windscreen of your tractor. The display is powered by 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter. So straight into the cigarette lighter socket of the tractor and plug it into the bottom here. Your main on and off switch is at the side here and you must always use this. There is a standby switch but it doesn't reset and uh, periodically the unit will need switched on and off at the side. So if I switch it on here So what we have here now is the main screen of the Mojo Mini. Um, we have a settings tab down here where we can set the brightness of the display and also set up the display. We have a calculator here which will convert our hectares to acres, kilos to pounds and perform normal calculator functions. On the main screen we have two options. We have the option to go for road maps or the option for field maps. Road maps, the system is pre programmed with full European maps. Field maps. <coughs> we have two options when we go into this menu. We have the option to create a new field or we can open an existing field. So, for instance, uh, we have stopped and we want to go back to the field. The field is stored in this portion here. For the demonstration, we will create a new field. It firstly asks us for a width of implement, so in this case 25 meters, you can set it in meters or feet on this side. It then asks us for a distance behind the receiver, so we can program in 2 meters here. When we have that done, uh, we have 6 options, we have straight track, we have curve track, we have information, we have A plus heading, pivot track and we have the field view. On the information tab, we should ensure that the satellites are set to worldwide to let it pick up worldwide satellites. Uh, we can see that it is connected to the receiver via Bluetooth 
and we can see our satellite signal and our forward speed here. Now, this is in demo mode, so we're getting false readings here. We also can access our calculator here and access night or day mode. So, to go back, hit the bottom right hand corner. Basically, what we can do now. Uh, our straight track basically does an AB line and draws a straight line between the two points at least 30 meters apart. Our curve track also does an AB line but records exactly the path taken between the two points. Our A plus heading, you're able to put a point in the field and program in your heading, so 0 degrees being north. We have also a pivot uh, which was applicable to um, areas of the world where they, they use pivot farming and we have a field view. Now the system is loaded with a false stream for demonstration purposes. On the field mode what we have, we have a blank canvas. We can measure the area of the field by pushing the, pushing the gate. We can then tell it to measure from the left hand side of the, the spray boom, the middle or the right. So we push the left hand side, it draws a line on the left hand side. As, it, as you go around the field you can also highlight it. So this will do your coverage mapping on the first run around the field. Now what you can also do when you're driving around the field, you can push your AB line, B, then plots out your field with AB lines. You also on this screen you have a tool setting here which asks you what setting to um, for your light bar. The Leica Geo Systems is the smart Leica light bar and this is by far the easiest method to actually uh, work the system. So ensure that the Leica Geo Systems is kept on there. The smart light bar which there's details in the manual. If you want to then uh, close in the boundary of your field so you've drove around the first time or you want to manually close it in, if you push your close in it then tells you your total acres, your total hectares and then the coverage the covered areas. You if you leave a field and if you leave a field and you wish to come back to the same point, you basically switch off your coverage. It stops covering, you drive home, uh, you come back to the field, you drive up the same point, push your button again and it starts the coverage map again. Another benefit to this system is that you will always get satellite drift, so if you leave a field because of weather, so if you're spraying you leave a field because of weather, and you come back a few hours later or maybe even the next day, what you will find is the tram lines may have drifted. So how you get around that, you push your light bar, and you push your nudge track, which brings all the tracks back onto line. So basically you drive onto your previous two tracks, push your light bar and push that, and it brings your lines back into line again. As you can see, once the system runs for 20 seconds, uh, the buttons down the left and the right hand side of the screen, they disappear to give you a better view. The idea behind the system is you use the 3D, 3D display to help you turn up the headlands and when you're going up and down the field on the tram lines you basically watch your light bar at the top. Your speed is always displayed at the bottom here in both kilometres per hour and miles per hour. You also have another option when you're finishing the field. You just click into field and you click into existing field. It shows you exactly the area you've covered. Uh, it'll tell you your total area, your total acres your total hectares and your covered areas. You can then export this field to your SD card. So basically it takes that map, puts it onto your SD card. You can take your SD card out, put it into your computer and load it up as a Google Earth map. You'll see that on the website if you click on through to the next part. And that is basically it. Uh, what we do find is when operators get really well used to it, 
uh, what they do is they go in, choose a new field, they confirm their, their implement settings, they start the coverage map, the drive around the outside of the field and as they're driving around the outside of the field they identify the hedge that they're going to use as the straightest line for the reference line for the tram lines they push away A at one side they push B at the other and their field's mapped out and basically all they have to do then or all you have to do is then drive to the line and that is the Leica Mini Mojo, or sorry, Mojo Mini.